is up, Ham host message finds you all well in good spirits. Well, well, I got a call from my good buddy, iconic GT500. That's right, my good friend. Guess what? He has a 2020 Shell GT500, but here's the kicker it's already tuned. That's right, it's tuned and it has exhaust work done. We're headed to Delaware to the shop. I can't wait to show you. We're gonna get a tour, look underneath, hear it, and guess what? Get ready. The first driving you ever of a brand new tuned. 2020 Shelby GT500. Let's go. We'll see you there in Delaware. Let's go. All right, guys, we have arrived at AMG Automotive Inc. in Delaware. I'll put the description down below where my buddy, Iconic GT500, is getting all his stuff done. Of course, we drove the College Mamba here. Let's go hear it sound. Okay. You want me to raise up first? Yeah, sure. Well, first, uh, say, introduce yourself and your, and your shop, bro. My name is Matt. I'm here at AMG Automotive. This is what we do around here. It's a little bit of custom fabrication. Okay. Try to make things louder and faster. So, what you guys? You guys got the exhaust done. We're gonna take it out. Yeah, we built a complete custom uh, manifolds to the catback system, stage one, so that customers can keep the cat back with the four mode exhaust positions. Um, and it's a modified X pipe. You'll see is a little bit better than the 90 degrees that Ford used. Okay. And we have no converters, all that good stuff. Oh, converters are gone. Who are those cats, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We all dull people around here. <laughs> all right, let's see what it looks like. All right, so we're going to check out a first uh, modified exhaust system to a 2020 Shell DJ 500. I got to give... My buddy Steve Pross, man, this silver and black looks fire. Crazy, attractive front end, dude. All right. We start out, we have half inch stainless steel flanges up at the manifolds because, you know, China makes 3 8 flanges. And they so tend yeah, to flex. most exhaust systems end up with a 3 8 flange that tends to flex and deform over time. Mm -hmm. This is a one half inch stainless steel 304 uh, flange. Got It'll it. Take welded back, some flex sections for engine movement, easy install, easy, you know, removal. We come back, we teardrop some 45s into an X-pipe so that they're able to continue the velocity while still equalizing sound pressures because with a boosted application, exhaust scavenging isn't necessarily as necessary as just getting it out of here. Sure. So we just want to equalize sound pulses um, and get it the hell out the back. Gotcha. And we put some flanges on the stock Ford cat back because the way the Ford works with no uh, hangers, this is what kind of holds it its height. Got it. So yeah, doing that, allow it to- And you, you still know, maintain the uh, maintain active the exhaust. The, back, yep. the four point exhaust positions, the flaps, everything's fully operational. Oh, wow. Yeah. She's still totally quiet for your neighbors. Yeah, exactly. But quiet, when, she, when you want to turn it up. Oh yeah. So, She's okay. a while for sure. So cats are gone, X, custom X-pipe, three inch. Three inch, uh, 065 wall, thick stainless steel. Mm. Because 049 would have been quite a bit too raspy, too noisy. Gotcha, gotcha, yeah. You know, with a V8, we gotta get whatever drone we can out. We're mm -hmm. not using resonators, so we had to uh, suffice with a little bit of pipe thickness. Wow, and also guys, this is tuned, so it's optimized as well. So yeah. this is this gonna- This car's already been tuned, it's already been on the dyno. All right. Uh, Steve's already done quite a few things with it. Yeah, this is probably we'll the most mo it. most modified. I think got it a week ago. Yeah, that's the coolest thing. It, today, it's yeah. a week old. Exactly. He picked it up Saturday morning, last Saturday in the rain. Yeah. And he has driven it, dare I say, less than I've driven it. Yeah, so yeah. Like, he's driven it from place to place on a trailer. 
Wow. And he hasn't even driven this thing. He's just been from shop to shop getting modified. Yeah, he's not even here right now. He's out of town, but he said, you got to try it out. So we're here. Yeah. And uh, we're going to, uh, let's, uh, let's hear it. Let's fire it let's up. Let's fire it up. Guys, so as you can see, we got a chance to just uh, take a look at uh, Iconic GT500. It's crazy. It's only been a week old. It has exhaust, X-pipe, tune, race gas is in the car right now. Uh, he's going to pull you down, bigger injectors. You know my guy, Rob Shoemaker, is tuning it. So uh, we're going to have some fun. And uh, we're going to actually see this car. We'll hang out more when I get mine too as well. He's going to take it to the drag strip, set records, all that good stuff. So check him out. I'll put his link to his channel and his IG down below. Of course, check out this shop here, AMG Automotive Inc. in Delaware. So we're here. Now they're going to back out the 500. We're going to give a drive on it and let you know how it feels. Exciting. Their favorite color is silver and white. But it shows off the line so nicely. So I'll put the GoPros on, take it for a drive, let you know how this tuned 2020 Shelby GT500 feels. So what we're gonna do is here, I'm gonna check this out. You guys can see uh, we're, it is fully protected. Um, this is how new this car is here. Steve did it right. He has the carbon fiber looking good. Still smells so new so clean and crazy thing about this 200 miles on it already tuned let's give it a start up again tuned by rob shoemaker he tuned the black mamba of course as you guys know so let's uh set this up take a little drive and tell you how it feels we did get a chance if you guys don't know i'll put a card up we got a chance to drive a stock 2020 500 with Ford's media event, but uh, seeing it out here in the flesh, I can't wait for mine. All right, guys, let's talk about it. I'm excited to drive this because, as you know, I drove a, a stock model down the quarter mile on the racetrack, on the street, but now we're driving one that's tuned, exhaust. It actually has some race gas in it. Yeah, it made, it made uh, 799 on the race gas. So it made 799 wheel horsepower. Let's just call it eight for, for craps and giggles here. Uh, so we're driving 800 wheel horsepower Shelby GT500 and it's tuned by Rob Shoemaker and from Palm Beach and uh, let's take it for a drive. He bought uh, track tires for it. He also runs the Slipstream Racing event. So this car is going to be at those events uh, running Crazy Times Pocono International Raceway. And um, the tires he bought are uh, the R888. He got R888. Okay. Yeah. So this car is going to have a lot of duty. Um, I'm so happy that Steve's already modified this car 
because honestly I was having cold feet thinking about it because obviously this car is not cheap it's uh, basically eighty thousand dollar car all the way to hundred if you get it spec'd out with a track pack and just driving it uh, tuned it feels at home because I love to modify Mustangs and the, the fact that he's already modified the most iconic Mustang you can buy today the 2020 Shelby D500 is phenomenal uh, just driving it uh, as you guys know Rob tuned my own car so I'm traveling having a chance to drive the GT500 uh, I'm excited to see how he did with the tune we're gonna be a little we're gonna be modest because one it's not our 500 but two we're not on the best tire but stay tuned because we're gonna come back and take this to the drag strip and we're gonna have a better tire on here for street purposes uh, to see how it really feels oh those brakes <laughs> the brakes once you can get the uh, verify the 18 fitment then all that Exactly. Yep. Because these are huge rotors and brakes, guys. Yep. Yeah, I mean, uh, where's the place where we can cut? Is, it, is this a highway here? I okay. got you. Just go straight. Straight? Okay. I got you. I got you. So, and just so you go, I have a maestro here with me. What's your name, brother? Tim Mace. Tim Mace is here. He's actually been helping get this car ready, testing it, and he's here helping me uh, to drive it today and also being an awesome extra grip if you will <laughs> for the camera purposes but uh how you like the 500 so far bro um i mean so uh, i i've i had a bunch of mustangs in the past and gotcha I, um, I have a c6z now i have that that black one with the nitrous and you know in my opinion you you, you can very easily feel the weight difference yeah between you know my car's a 3100 pound car versus a 4100 pound car have you put this on the on the scale yet? Uh, I think Steve weighed it at 4150. 4150, okay. Um, but, I mean, it's solid. The DCT, you, what, what, what can you really say? The exactly. DCT is so it's amazing, fast. yeah. Um, now, for me, you know, when I first started driving it, I had, I didn't know a whole lot about it, so it took me a little bit to figure out the different settings and, you know, how, it, where the power is and how the manual mode feels and, you know, track mode versus drag, uh, drag mode versus normal mode versus sport mode. Um, I mean, but as far as when we, when we look at every Ford Mustang ever, every Ford car ever, this is it's the top. It's as, it's as good as it gets. Now I heard if you if you put these dab double in, you can rev it. Okay, so that's how you rev the the dual clutch. Um, Sounds healthy. That's a. Uh, I think he's going to see if it'll make a thousand, but eventually, you know, he wants to. I got a big kid. Somebody. Somebody. Some kid in a Hyundai Genesis <laughs> is, uh, just gave me a wave up. <laughs> this is just the, the tip of the iceberg here. Um, but one, go ahead. 799 mil horsepower on stock exhaust manifold. Yeah. Full, full factory stock exhaust, um, stock injectors, stock yeah. pulley, stock headers, like stock. You know, like you said the one, the main thing I'm excited about is the pulley action, because you know this is a, still a stock pulley. When he pulleys down and bigger injectors, what injectors are on there now? I don't know the size, but I imagine that if he wants to run E85 and he wants to pulley down, he'll probably put a 1200 cc. Yeah. I don't, I don't imagine that he would even start with a thousand. I was gonna say I was gonna say thirteen hundred was where I would kind of dabble. Yeah. You know what I mean? That's where I feel like I would feel safer. And if he ever plays on porting the blower, yeah, that's what's so cool is that like when you get a regular GT, you got like add to it. Now you're just perfecting what's already here. So we're gonna we got some room here. We're gonna hit it when we get above fifty. Let's get to fifty. Man, I can't wait to get one. <laughs> 
<laughs> oh, and it's hugging the corners here too. Oh man, this car is a treat. One of the coolest thing is about this car is that it turns so nicely. I hate, I mean, I'm a drag strip guy and I'm, you know, straight only performance, but it is nice to, to hit it and take a turn. Uh, let's use these paddle shifters a little bit. So responsive. Wow. Bro. <laughs> <laughs> Go straight? All right, cool. Let's, let's, let's keep the fun going. Um, can I hit it? Yeah, go ahead. video this is a, a fun quick driver review of the first tuned modified 2020 shell bgt 500 again tuned by rob shoemaker and what's the name of the shop here guys amg automotive amg automotive in delaware uh they're doing more work to this so check it out in the meantime i'm gonna have some more fun driving this beast Car is crazy. This car is crazy. Woo! This is gonna be fun. This is gonna be fun. Hey man, appreciate it. Thank you so much. All right. We <laughs> definitely just spin tires all day long. Good job on the tune, Rob. By the way, feels good.
both on temp tags. They both got temp yeah. tags. <laughs> Good together though, I tell you that much. Yo, we gotta do a track rental though. I, I, yo, we gotta get it together. We gotta pay somebody at like Cecil or somebody. 27th to 28th, I think Steve has uh, the track ready. Where? Where? Cecil, something like that. It's shut down. It's in my phone. Really? I know. <laughs> I, 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 I'm a little backwards on this review, guys, but I didn't get to show you guys underneath the hood here. A whole lot of Ford. Yeah. 5.2 liters with 2.6 liters of blower. Yeah. 50% blower capacity over top of engine capacity. That's crazy. That's nuts. Oh, this is going to be good. All right, man. I appreciate you. I'm freezing out here, so I know you guys are too. Yeah, right? <laughs> hey, man. Appreciate you. Thanks, man. Take it easy. All right. So these, here are the remnants. Thank you. Thank you, Steve, for the opportunity of... He has new tires, guys, so, and he's my buddy. All right, y'all.